Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo and I was playing with a sunset and I did some really simple but powerful moves that had a huge impact on the outcome of the photo. So I was thinking, you know, maybe this would be something that would help folks because here's what happens for me with this sunset, especially if it's kind of pretty. I come home and I just want to hit it. I just want to just hammer those pixels because like it was an amazing sunset and I'm so fired up and I'm like, I really wanna amplify this and show how amazing it was. Or it wasn't that amazing and I'm like, well, I kinda need to jack it up a little bit, make it look a little prettier than it really was. But these five things allow me to really kinda get both done. I do a nice job of enhancing the sunset and it was pretty, but it wasn't amazing, but I don't overdo it. So five tips five things you can do to really get a nice, beautiful, kind of serene sunset. This still has a lot of impact. Let's get going. The first one is I start in Develop Raw, and it's all about the light, right? Obviously, this is photography. It's always about the light, but I just spend a few minutes here where I'm playing with the shadows and the highlights and the contrast levels, and all I'm trying to do is balance it out a little bit and make it look a little bit more balanced, right? So it was a little bit dark in the foreground, I think it's a little bit better. And then while I'm at it, I might come in with temperature and tint because I'm in develop, it has it. And so even though I'm not really done with the light, my next move is gonna be a little bit more about the light as well. But while I'm here, I wanna take advantage of this raw data on my raw file and play with the temperature and the tint. So I might give it a little bit of boost of warmth, maybe a little bit of a tint as well, and maybe even a little bit of saturation or vibrance. I don't wanna to do too much because I don't wanna overdo the color and basically make it too fake looking or even fake looking at all. I still think that looks very natural and serene and quite peaceful, which it was actually. This was a Vermont, uh, this was in Vermont at a lake at the middle of some uh, dusty road. I don't know, I don't even remember where exactly in Waterbury, uh, but outside of that, I don't know the name of the lake. Some of you may know. Anyway, it's beautiful there. As the sunset was coming together, I zipped down to this place. I stood there handheld and just took some shots. But that's where I am right now. So, so far I feel like I'm doing pretty good, but I wanna keep going to get the most as I, uh, you know, that I can out of this file. And so I'm gonna come into Super Contrast, which is amazing at helping you balance the light. And that's really what I'm doing here. I'm just kinda of coming through. I'm gonna go a little bit left, I think. I want the sky to be a little bit brighter than the reflection. I think that makes sense. I don't want it to be so balanced that it looks HDR or fake. I'm gonna come in and do a little bit with the midtones and then shadows. I'm gonna take a look at that as well maybe a slight bit to the right. Let me see this overall look. There it is before, and there it is now. Now keep in mind, adjusting super contrast or contrast at all also helps pop the color. Another reason why I wanted to go a little bit gentle there in develop because I don't wanna overdo it knowing that I was gonna be popping contrast. So I think we've got a nice subtle look so far and I'm ready to do a little bit with color which for me is often toning. I love, just love toning, and I love using it on sunsets. Now, I'm gonna stay with this kind of reddish hue, and I'm just gonna drag the saturation a little bit to the right, just to get a little bit more of that color into the sky. So I'm at 31, I don't wanna overdo it, like I said, I just want a subtle uh, enhancement uh, to the other overall color look. So there it is before. And there it is now. It's just got a nice little pop of warmth. And I think a slight amount of toning really helps. And the other one that I love to use on sunsets, and I use it pretty much in every one, is Golden Hour. And that just gives another nice little bump in color. I don't wanna go high, you know, I don't wanna overdo it, but you know, we're at 25, something like that. And if you look at the before and after, there it is. You can tell that's the before. It's a little bit less warm and a little bit less kind of intense in the warmer spots. And now, there's just a little bit more kick to it. So again, this is all about being gentle and just kind of getting a serene sunset that's beautiful and impactful without being over the top. The last thing for me is really all about details. When I have something like this, I like to smooth the details, which to me is structure AI taken to the negative. So I'm just gonna do this actually across the entire photo at about a negative 35. It creates a little bit of a painterly look, which I think goes well with sunsets and reflections and the whole scene is fairly serene anyway. So I wanna kind of amp up that peaceful look. And for me, removing detail or negative structure really helps to accomplish that. So there it is before. You can see there's a little bit more texture there in the sky and the clouds and in the reflection. And then when I let go of that and show you the after, you can see it's a little bit smoother. Now, if you wanted, of course, you could come in and do a little bit more. I don't think it looks bad, to be honest. Here I am at negative 50, and that just kind of amps up that painterly mood. It also, I think, 
by removing the detail from like these distant hills or mountains and the tree line and stuff like that, it helps accentuate the overall feeling, kind of the moodiness. Whenever I have photos like this where I've removed a lot of detail and smoothed out the entire photo, it just feels more peaceful. It's not as busy, it's a bit calmer, and that's kind of the look I'm going for. So there it is before, structure AI used to the left, which is what I call negative structure, and there it is now, uh, quite a bit smoother across the entire photo. Now, of course, you could use Mask AI to come in and apply that across um, you know, specific parts, like you could isolate the sky and the water basically in a snap, but I really like it just kind of accentuating that across the entire photo. And I'm gonna go ahead and commit Structure AI. So those are the five tools that I would use, but there's one more and that's Mystical, simply because it does a great job of kind of enhancing that serene, calm, kind of just relaxed vibe. It's, it's kind of a mood tool. And I don't like to use that word because there's a tool called mood, which lets you apply a lot, but I don't wanna do that here. I just wanna increase Mystical because if you look at it, as I do that, it creates a little bit more of that romantic lighting kind of mood, and it can come in really handy. The thing to be careful of is it does create a little bit more contrast, and so the foreground's a little bit darker, and the sky is getting a little bit brighter. So there it is before, and there it is after. So I'd say at 37, it's probably a little too much. I might take it down to 20. You can also bump the shadows if you don't want to lose too much in the foreground. I'm going to bump that a little bit. And so now that's a little bit softer implementation. So if there it is before Mystical, and there it is now. That's kind of the wild card, but the other five I think are just fantastic for getting a quick and easy sunset edit that's powerful and yet serene without being over the top. Hope it gives you some ideas. Simple tools, simple application, no masking needed, anything like that. It's just simple and easy and just a few slider moves, and I think you end up with, a, frankly, a beautiful photo. Let me show you the before. There it is, and the after. There you go. Hope this gives you some ideas, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more Luminar Neo videos. I'll see you in the next one. If you guys have any questions, by the way, leave me a comment down below. Like it if you like this kind of stuff. I'll see you soon. You guys take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. And until next time, adios.